Hello. If you are a Kafka developer, you are already familiar with the producer and consumer APIs, among other APIs. But that is not the only way that you can develop Kafka application. What I'm going to show you today is to use Kafka Bridge, which provides an HTTP API for you to do your Kafka development. So what is Kafka Bridge? It is based on the concept of consumer and topics. It allows you to do anything that you can do with the consumer and producer APIs, including sending messages to a topic, creating and deleting Kafka Bridge consumers, and subscribing and unsubscribing consumers to or from a topic. You can also assign partitions to consumers, retrieve messages from topics, commit your message offsets, and also seek on a partition and locate and display any message you want in a particular offset position. Today, I'm going to show you a demo running on OpenShift. It's based on AMQ streams, which is basically Kafka with the Kafka bridge installed. I could have built a couple of uh, web applications to show you how to send and receive messages, but by doing that, you won't be able to actually look at the message exchange between your application and the Kafka bridge. So that's why today I'm going to show you in the command line, which will show you all the messages, all the message exchanges in between the application and Kafka. In here, you see three different windows. What you can see in this particular window is that I list all the ports belonging to this Kafka project. That is where the Kafka is running, including the Kafka bridge. And what I did here the second in the second command is that I did a port forward of the Kafka bridge port 8080 to my local machine so that I can interact with Kafka bridge on my local machine using 8080. Since I'm running on OpenShift, I could have used OpenShift's root or route to actually create a, a, like a, a URL for external access, but I just want to show you this port forward capability, so that's why I'm using this. So let me minimize this. And you can see that on this other window here, I'm just running the uh, stock Kafka consumer. And you can see that I actually type a number of asterisks here so that I separate the previous messages from the new messages which I'm about to send. So then I start up my demo. Now you can see that this is actually the information or the command, HTTP command that I'm going to send to the Kafka bridge. You can see that is a refer, uh, this is the URL and this is the con content type and in here what I'm going to do is I'm going to like uh, create a number of uh, messages or records you can see that I in here I'm actually specifying the partition number well you have uh, different choices including like a specifying a key or you can just leave it unspecified so that uh, Kafka will assign it in a round robin fashion so what I'm going to do now is to hit enter. And then you can see that, well, it's actually sent all these uh, six messages, new messages, and it returned me with the offset of each of those messages that have been sent. The next thing I want to show you is how do you actually receive messages, right? And before you can do that, you have to create a Kafka bridge consumer and this is the URL that you're going to use and you're going to specify the consumer's name uh, the format is going to use etc so when I hit enter now it has created this consumer and returned to me with this base URI which I, I can use in subsequent me uh, uh, message exchange to actually uh, do things with this 
uh, Kafka client. So next thing I want to do is subscribe to the topic using this consumer. And you can actually see the uh, command that I'm sending and the JSON as well. So I'm just uh, subscribing to my topic. Hit enter. Now that is done. So the next thing I want to do is retrieve the latest messages. So you can see this command here. Hit enter. Now it's displaying all the messages because I asked it to start from the beginning. So it's displaying all the messages that was in that particular topic. The next thing I want to do is to commit the offset. Done. And remember, by seeking to a particular partition and also uh, to a particular offset, you can retrieve a message in any offset position. In here, what I've specified is I specify it to go to partition zero and set the offset to five. That means I'm going to retrieve the sixth message in that particular topic. So let's do that. And now is position it at the sixth position or offset five. Now I want to retrieve the messages starting from offset five. So it's actually trying to receive all this. Now what I want to do is so we set it to last offset. So the next time you uh, retrieve it, you receive the latest one. And that's about it. So now at the end, what I'm going to do is I need to delete the Kafka Bridge Consumer. And that's it. And that is the demo. You will find additional information I've entered just below this uh, YouTube uh, video. You can find more about uh, the API and how to use it. Thank you.